Hi everyone, this is United States Senator Joni Ernst. While I'm sorry I can't be with you all in person today, I'm grateful for the opportunity to share a few words. As a former company commander and retired lieutenant colonel, I'm honored to be chosen as the recipient of this year's National Commander's Distinguished Public Service Award. Serving our nation in uniform for over 23 years had a profound impact on my life and it shapes my decision-making daily. Today, as a United States Senator, I've made ensuring my fellow veterans have the support they need one of my top priorities. As a veteran of the global war on terrorism myself, watching the disastrous collapse of Afghanistan was extremely heartbreaking. I've heard from so many service members and fellow veterans of the global war on terrorism, many of whom are disheartened. I also heard from so many Gold Star families who lost their spouses, fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, sons, and daughters during the war. As they watched the Taliban retake control of Afghanistan, many even questioned if their family member's sacrifice was worth it. I want them to know that the brave Americans who have kept us safe in the 20 years are heroes, every single one of them. That's why I fought hard to honor service members, fallen soldiers, their families, and all those impacted by the global war on terrorism with a memorial on our National Mall. This memorial will be a long-standing testament and reminder of their selflessness for generations to come, and I'm so proud to help make this memorial a reality. As a survivor of domestic assault, I understand the traumatic experiences too many of our service members have faced. Sexual assault has no place in our military or anywhere else, and it's far past time we take more steps toward preventing and reducing these heart-wrenching crimes. I helped lead a new bipartisan effort to prevent military sexual assault and hold perpetrators accountable and I'm proud that many of these key reforms were included in last year's annual defense bill. I'll always work to strengthen our fighting force and ensure all service members are treated with the dignity and the respect they deserve. We also know that too often, the men and women who have served our country in combat face mental health challenges when returning to civilian life. To support these folks, I've helped lead a number of efforts to improve mental health services for our veterans. Recently, my bipartisan bill, which would designate one week per year as Buddy Check Week to organize outreach events and educate veterans on how to conduct peer wellness checks, passed the Senate. I'll keep pushing to get this important legislation signed into law to allow more veterans the opportunity to learn how to conduct peer wellness checks so they can check in with their fellow veterans and help them get the care and the support they need. Once again, I'd like to thank all of you for the opportunity to share a few words. It's an honor to fight on behalf of our service members and veterans in the United States Senate and it's a responsibility I do not take lightly. If I can ever be of assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. May God bless all of you. May God bless the United States of America.